Part of Esri's serviceability solutions is a network planning application that allows network planners to plan out potential network buildouts and cost them. A new service request quote has just come in from our direct sales representatives out quoting customers. Here we can see what the route was that was generated by our serviceability analysis, as well as information on the length and the service quote that was generated. So now as a network planner, I can generate that same route based off of the shortest distance path from this customer location back to an access point, in this case a splice closure, on our existing network. Now this view for the network planner shows the route buffered and the businesses along the route. Here we can see what the total length is as well as the number of businesses that are passed. So as a network planner I can select on any one of these businesses and get additional information. Now this shows me what the shortest distance route is from this customer's site back to an access point on our network. But what if I wanted to optimize this route based off of the highest number of businesses that we could pass? We can set our business influence to 100% and rerun the analysis. Now the route that is returned to me is quite a bit longer than the first, but a higher number of businesses have been passed. Now if this is the route that we want to propose, we can export it and save it into our GIS. We can save the route layer as well as all of these additional business opportunities. We can go ahead and fill in our project name as the Law Offices of Hunter and West. We'll mark this as approved. And since our direct sales representative already provided the customer with a service quote, we don't need to fill out these additional fields. And we'll save this into our GIS. Now that this route has been saved, we can clear this and start costing out this potential build. Using our project costing tool, we can create a new project that automatically calculates what the total cost would be for this route. We'll fill in our project name of Law Offices of Hunter and West, and then we'll start costing out this project. So for this particular network build out, it'll be an aerial build and we'll start at the customer location and we'll follow our service quote along the street here back to the access point on our network. Now here we can see this particular tool has buffered the route to create a project boundary and it has factored in what the total cost would be for an aerial build. Now this is all configurable based on the costing methods that the network engineering team has put together. So this cost estimation would differ if it was a mixed, an underground, a direct buried, or in this case an aerial build. Once we have costed out, dropped in additional assets that we may want to also include in our total cost estimation, we can fill out additional information on this particular project and then hit OK and save it. Now this project has been costed out and we can send this information out into the field with our field engineers to inspect if this is a potential build we can use.